Hello and welcome to this week's WeatherQuest farming forecast. Well, it's been pretty unsettled over the last couple of weeks. We've seen a lot of heavy showers, thunderstorms, some longer periods of rainfall for most places, but it does look like something slightly more settled is on the cards for next week and possibly into the following week, but we'll touch on that in a bit more detail in a few moments. First though, just gonna to touch on the soil moisture. Um, so this is one that we showed a few weeks ago at the beginning of July. Um, the soil moisture update for the end of June from the Cosmos Network uh, run by the Centre for Ecology and Hydrology. And just to quickly summarise that, if you didn't catch that video at the time, at this point, basically, we had wetter than normal soils in the south and east and drier than normal soils in the north and west due to that heavy rainfall we had at the end of June and that high pressure that was ridging in uh, to the north and west. And you can see some of these stations were both exceptionally dry uh, and exceptionally wet. So a real northwest contrast uh, to end the month of June. The last week or so, we've seen a lot of heavy rainfall um, across the UK. So this is the rainfall as estimated by the radar uh, during the last seven days or so. And what, what's really noticeable is the only places that saw pretty much less than five mil are the central southern parts of Scotland, the northeastern tip of Scotland, some parts of Northern Ireland and down into Western Ireland, and then a few places across the Midlands and East Anglia, particularly across parts of Suffolk here, you can see that saw less than five mil, but elsewhere, it's been pretty wet. Most places have seen at least kind of 10 to 15 mil, those green colours, up to kind of 30 to 40 mil and some of these darker orange colours. And some places have even seen close to 80, 90 mil from a few really heavy thunderstorms um, that have tracked through. So you can see a lot of rainfall, quite variable from place to place with the kind of hit and miss nature of those thunderstorms. But the point is, uh, for most places, a very wet and unsettled seven days or so. Now, this is the latest soil moisture update by the same network for the 31st of July, so just a few days ago. And what, what's really notable is the similar kind of trend to the one at the end of June. We've got generally these drier than normal soils in the north and west, and then generally wetter than normal soils in the south and east. What's a little bit more marked perhaps for this end of July update is that these wetter soils are kind of sort of extended a little bit more into the Midlands, into uh, kind of Northern England, into Northeastern England, where there are a few of these, these stations now wetter than normal, as to where they were, they were drier than normal in the previous update. And the other thing that's notice, noticeable is these drier than normal stations in the Northwest, there's less that are the exceptionally dry, they're all drier than normal or close to normal. So still that Northwest Southeast split in the soil moisture, but it's become a little bit less marked than at the end of June. So, what we've got store for the next few weeks or so. Well, this is the jet stream in the short term, and you can see it's running to the south of the UK. Um, we've been in this kind of cool, showery air mass to the north of it, and I think that's gonna continue for the next few days. You can see a much more kind of active area of jet stream pushing this area of low pressure through towards the end of the week. It's quite a keen wind here, so it's gonna be quite breezy across particularly southern parts of, of the UK, but for most places, quite a breezy end to the week and generally staying cool and unsettled as well. So looking at that in a little bit more detail, this was the end of Tuesday. You can see we had a few afternoon showers around in places, this slightly more organized band of showery rain out to the west of Ireland on Tuesday evening. Those showers generally easing down through Tuesday evening, but redeveloping once again in places through Wednesday, more organized in parts of uh, Ireland and Scotland as that little band of kind of showers and showery rain move through, but a little bit more hit and miss elsewhere. And I think most of the showers will be across the western part of Wales and, and England. Further east, they'll generally be more isolated. Saying that though, any showers that do develop still could be pretty hefty. So one still to watch out for in the east, but they just will be um, a touch more isolated. Temperatures as well for Wednesday, staying in the high teens, perhaps just getting up to 21 or 22 degrees in uh, some southeastern parts and any longer spells of sunshine. Now you can see for the end of Wednesday and overnight into Thursday, we've got this area of low pressure pushing in from uh, the Atlantic. So Thursday, just about starting dry with some sunny spells in some eastern parts, but through the course of the day, Thursday, this is gonna push eastwards, pushing this band of rain through, followed by numerous showers for Thursday night, Friday, continuing through the day Friday as this low continues to circle around, slowly shifting northeastwards. Um, so you can see a pretty unsettled end to the week. There's all sorts of areas of showers and showery rain um, pushing through. The one thing is by Saturday, they do become a little bit more isolated in the southwest as that low pushes a little bit further uh, north eastwards, but generally a pretty unsettled um, few days to end the week with showers, thunderstorms, and the potential for some longer spells of rain. And as I mentioned, becoming breezy in the south as well. Now, a lot of people have been ringing asking about the potential for spraying. 
over the next few days and it is going to be tricky. The next couple of days it's going to be a question of if you can manage to miss out on the showers. If, if you do, the winds are going to be generally light enough that it's not going to be too much of a problem. These green colours here showing the ideal spraying conditions for, for Tuesday, Wednesday and into Thursday morning. But then this area of low pressure pushes through um, and it becomes much more unsettled um, and windier and uh, obviously a lot of showers around as well. So if you can miss out on the showers for the next couple of days, um, there might be some opportunities. And the best way of staying on top of that shower risk um, is to speak directly to one of our forecasters. They're available every day from 6am till 6pm on 09065 at £1.55 a minute plus any network access charges. And they'll be able to keep you up to date with all the latest models, the likelihood of seeing showers in certain areas, how heavy they'll be, what the winds will be like and all sorts of other uh, kind of weather parameters. So well worth a call if there's any doubt um, and you want to find out exactly what's going on. So looking a little bit further ahead into the early part of next week, it does look like we might begin to see high pressure building in from the southwest. So this is that area of low pressure that's causing all that chaos towards the end of this week, all those heavy showers and things. And that's going to move further east, allowing this ridge to build, um, bringing something slightly more settled. You can see that it's not a million miles away that we have this area of low pressure out, which is pushing some frontal rain into parts of Ireland, Scotland, and perhaps northern England as well. So a bit of a northwest southeast split, but it does look like things might become a little bit more settled into the early part of next week. Now this is kind of a summary for that week as a whole. This is the mean pressure anomaly through that whole period um, from the 9th of August through to the 15th. And you can see that's kind of backing up what that model just showed there, that this pink colour here showing high pressure building in across sort of France, Iberia, Germany, uh, the UK, and then up into Scandinavia as well. So becoming more settled in these areas, that low pressure that we talked about shifting further east, so more unsettled in Eastern Europe, um, but it is worth just keeping an eye on this low pressure near Iceland, could push some frontal rain through, perhaps even through this kind of high pressure, pushing some frontal rain southeastwards across uh, the UK. So you can see that reflected in the rainfall, these brown colours here, below average rainfall in much of Western Europe, parts of Scandinavia. Very unsettled looking in the east with that low pressure bringing heavy showers, some thunderstorms, some longer spells of rain. And you can just see parts of Western Scotland and Northwestern Ireland flagged up as slightly above average rainfall. So it will be wetter in the Northwest, but you can see well below average um, in the Southeast of the UK. And with that high pressure building, does it like temperatures are finally gonna rise back to something slightly above average. So where we've been seeing temperatures below average for the last week or so, temperatures across the UK, in the South getting back up to the mid, perhaps even high 20s for a couple of days. Um, but uh, elsewhere across Europe, a pool of cold air associated with that low pressure, so below average temperatures in Central Europe, but elsewhere uh, generally rising to something above average. Now into the following week, it does look like we're still going to be slightly under the influence of high pressure. So this is the week beginning the 16th of August. You can see this high pressure anomaly across Scotland down into the British Isles, generally going to bring below average rainfall for these areas. We've got high pressure also ridging across the Mediterranean. But in these central areas, it's still going to be cooler and a bit more showery. So looking here at the temperatures, um, above average for the northwest, above average uh, for southern Europe, but this kind of cooler air still lingering in some central areas and it's going to be on the showery side as well. So above average rainfall for those central areas, but elsewhere generally below average. You can see there are a few um, areas in southeast Britain that could be above average if this extends further further inland with that high pressure generally dominating um, from the north but elsewhere it's generally um, below average rainfall. And into the following week much uh, a much similar pattern really we've, we've got high pressure built across Scandinavia generally ridging westwards into the UK and parts of northern Europe um, still a little bit more changeable um, in the south uh, but temperatures for us staying above average. Now this is just to quickly summarise the chance of seeing a dry day across uh, various parts of the British Isles for the next two or three, four weeks or so. Um, so it's just worth flagging up this very unsettled period this coming weekend, um, end of the week and the weekend. Most places have been flagged up as a very low chance of seeing a dry day. Thereafter, there's a bit of a northwest southeast split. So these top, top ones here, that's kind of northwest England, parts of Ireland, parts of Scotland. Uh, where it looks like it might stay more unsettled, so a low chance of seeing a dry day. In the southeast um, of the UK, still a weak signal, but there are a few places here and there where there's the high chance of seeing 
uh, a dry day. So you want to wait for this to firm up a bit until kind of there's more confidence as to you know it being a, a, a more settled period. I think there will still be some periods of rainfall around as we've discussed, but generally it does look like slightly more settled um, conditions for the uh, much of England, Wales, and uh, perhaps Eastern Scotland as well. So to summarize an unsettled end to the week as this area of low pressure brings showers, thunderstorms, and some areas of rainfall. Um, for most of the UK, it will remain cool through the rest of this week, but it does look like temperatures might begin to rise through uh, some parts of next week, especially in the south. Um, and the model's generally suggesting that high pressure will begin to build through next week. So perhaps we're gonna see something a little bit more settled than we have done of late. So thanks for watching this week's video. As ever, you can keep up to date with the day-to-day -day forecasts for East Anglia and the UK on our social media. And if you've got any comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching.